Hey everybody, uh, this is a remote retrievable rigging solution that I kind of came up with. Uh, you see here, it's uh, an steel loopy sling, or whoopy, excuse me. Uh, this is a rigging ring available from Tree Stuff, rated to about 25,000 pounds. Uh, that's girthed onto a uh, small locking Brummel die. Uh, this is 3 8 inch amp steel, it's rated to 17,000 pounds. And then this is an ISC spring block, which is over two tons or something like that. Uh, so more than enough. Right, as you can see, I've set this up uh, much like a ring and ring friction saver. Assuming this is a small ring and this is the big ring, I throw a beaner on here to keep the throw ball from passing through there, and the ring is threaded onto the other end of the throw line. Uh, once you've selected your whoopee length, in this case, I'm going to keep it as short as it's able to be. Uh, might kind of re edit that. So we're going to go ahead and pull it up. A little tricky like a ring and ring is at the beginning where you get it above you. Once it's above you, see it goes up pretty simply. Uh, it's important to kind of stand back because you want to separate it so it doesn't get all twisted up. Put the block will slip over and uh, down will come the throw ball. Alright, so uh, I went ahead and I attached my rope to the throw line. Uh, you can do that however you normally would do it. One important thing is to try and keep tension on it as you're sending it up. Um, so you do not want the weight of the pulley to pull the, the whole system down. Once the rope's on there, it should do a good enough job of keeping it together. But sometimes the pulley can pull the ring over the other side and kind of remove itself while we send it coming straight at you. Uh, but once the rope's on there, stable enough, so you can see it came down easy enough, and uh, it's up there. Alright, so you got it up there, you did your work, uh, you got your pruning done, or you did your pulse on, and lifted your limb off the house, whatever it was, uh, now you want to get it back. So, you're going to go ahead and tie an overhand knot to the rope, tie the throw line to the end of the rope, uh, however you desire to do that, uh, this will work for my purposes. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of put my foot on the throw line. You don't see that, but I'm, I'm just giving the throw line some tension because once it gets over, you just don't want it to come flying at you. Uh, uh -huh. You look up there, the knot to hit the ring, pass through the ring, it's going to pull it down. And now I'm going to take the throw line and hold it. Give it a yank. Put the whole crystal off. Just like a ring and ring friction saver, uh, which allows you to bring the whole thing down in a controlled fashion. There we go. Uh, we're going to do a close up of the action of all this working. You notice I've lengthened uh, the girth eye on the whoopee sling. Uh, that's to accommodate the larger branch. And this will give you an idea of exactly how the whole system is working when it's on the tree. As I said before, you need to watch and keep attention on this because the weight can't pull it down. So when you're working with it on the ground, you just keep tension on it. And go ahead and pull the control line out. And then just step on it or whatnot. Okay, so we've got the rope affixed here. So we're just going to go like this, keeping that tension on there. So we're just going to start pulling the rope up like I was before. Uh, once you get it in there, as before, once you've got it nice and tension, the rope weight will hold it up there. Uh, this is kind of just a pan of what uh, the rope's doing up at the load. You can see, come around and look at the other side. Uh, the load is shared between the pulley and the ring, uh, which gives it a nice generous bend radius. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Well, again, okay, we're going to show you a close up of the retrieval process. Real simple. You got your knot, generous tail of rope, and then you affix this to here. Uh, probably use a little more than this if you're going all the way up in the tree because you'd hate to lose it. Uh, You'll go ahead and pull on this side. Again, really important. If you send this up the wrong way, it's not going to work. You'll have to send it back. So you see the knot will hit the ring. 
it'll clear the ring. If you're holding the throw line at the bottom, it's going to pull it over. You see the ring going over the top of the branch. It's going to get captured by the throw line. And then you're effectively just lowering it all the way down with the throw line. All right, so that's the remote retrievable rigging solution, or the uh, 3RS or R3S. Uh, it's a pretty simple idea. I mean, most of you guys already have loopy sling. Uh, you don't even have to make it a loopy. You could just uh, take a piece of half-inch climbing line and, and tie it on there, or have it sliced with, you know, two eyes, and just keep it as a set length. The biggest caveat that I can think of is, is watching it try to remove itself at the beginning by taking the weight off. You really need to make sure you keep that throw line tight um, or it can come down at you pretty quickly. Um, that could probably be remedied by using a smaller pulley, um, but I kind of like the full size pulley and the end radius as well as the strength. So, I really like it. Uh, we used it today. Uh, we went out and set this up in the tree from the ground, uh, tip tied the branch, and lifted it off the house, uh, cut it with the pole saw so we didn't have to go up in the tree at all for anything um, and we weren't forced to match and crotch our rope uh, especially when you're lifting limbs I think it's better to have a block it's a really nice system I hope you guys like it thanks for watching and if you have any questions let me know a big shout out to my wonderful camera lady Meg who's going to turn around and let us see her big shout out to my wonderful camera lady Meg um, thanks to Luca Tree Stuff for all the great equipment uh, good prices, and thank you again to my, my beautiful wife to be, Magna, uh, who did all the camera work for me right after she got home from a long day at work. So, thanks, Meg, for me and the guys.